Hi everybody and welcome to a very quick and boring episode of Gaffer and Gear. All right, so here's a problem that I've had recently. I decided to update the firmware and all my lights, make sure they've all got the latest state-of-the-art firmware. And here's something that I encountered. On about one in five lights, I lost my CRMX control. All right, so here's the scenario. The light is receiving the CRMX signal. So the, the light and the box can link together. All right, so you can link and unlink. It just seems that your commands are not getting through to the light engine. All right, so if this has happened to you, here's what's happened. The light has a TMO2 receiver transmitter module in it, and that module has its own firmware. Now, quite simply, that firmware hasn't been updated in so long that it is out of date and no longer compatible with the firmware that's in the lights. Now, to update the firmware in the TMO2 receiver, you just need to download some software called the CRMX Toolbox. Now, this will work on iOS and Android devices. Now, once you get it loaded up, on the home page, you'll see Connect. So click on that, and up will come a list of all of the lights that are currently turned on that have a TMO2 receiver. So this could be quite a populated list. So in order to help you find which light is which, normally you click on the light that you're interested in, and down the bottom you get a choice of disconnect or connect device or identify device. Now, if you click on identify device, the light usually flashes, but guess what? That doesn't work in this scenario either. That's also not working just like our CRMX commands. So in this situation, you might have a bit of a hard time identifying the light. So what I've done is I've, I've updated the lights one at a time. I've got no other light turned on that has a, has a CRMX receiver transmitter in it so that I know that the one light that's appearing on the list here is the light I want to update. Now from this point onwards, it's quite simple. Click on the light and go connect device. And you'll see down the bottom once it connects that you've got the choice to update your firmware. Now before you do that, what I'd recommend in case you have to go back and use this app in the future is I would um, go into the device and then give it a name. So I'm going to call this, uh, what's this thing called? I'm going to call it uh, Nova 600. And this is number four. And just in case anyone steals this off me, I'll also call it Andrew Lock. Okay, and we'll save that. So that's just gonna make it easier to find it later on. And now I'm gonna click down the bottom where it says update firmware. So it gives you a list of all of the changes. And as you can see, there's a huge amount of changes there. So I haven't done a firmware update in a very long time. Let's click start. And after about three to four minutes, you'll have the firmware updated. Okay, so now the firmware in my receiver is updated and my receiver is still linked to my transmitter from the previous time that I linked it. But here's the thing that could catch you out. I still have absolutely no CRMX response. All right, so don't panic at this stage. What you need to do is just go into the menu system and unpair the light from the transmitter and then send a repair command from the transmitter. And here we go, we've got CRMX running again. Now here's something I've also found subsequent with other firmware updates I've done this week. If I update the CRMX first, and then I update the firmware to the lights, you can avoid this problem altogether. All right, see you on the next episode of Gaffering Gear.